In 1983, a scientist named Lauren Whitehead wrote an article for the American Journal of Physics titled Domino Chain Reaction. The domino effect needs no explanation, but Whitehead made a fascinating discovery. A domino is capable of knocking over another domino that is one and a half times its size. In other words, a two inch domino can knock over a three inch domino, a three inch domino can knock over a four and a half inch domino. By the time you get to the 18th domino, you could knock over the leaning tower of Pisa. The 21st domino could take down the Washington Monument. The 23rd domino could waffle the Eiffel Tower. The 27th domino could cartwheel the Burj Khalifa, the tallest building in the world. Don't underestimate the potential impact of your two inch acts of obedience, your two inch steps of faith, your two inch sacrifices. We overestimate what we can do in a year or two, but we underestimate what God can do in 10 or 20. In Zechariah 4, Zerubbabel is rebuilding the temple and God says, do not despise the day of two inch dominoes, sort of. He says, do not despise the day of small beginnings. Why? Well, if you do little things like they're big things, God will do big things like they're little things. When we hit our knees in prayer, God does the heavy lifting. When we obey the promptings of the Holy Spirit, God sets up those divine appointments. Then it says this, for the Lord rejoices to see the work begin, to see the plumb line in Zerubbabel's hand. God is great, not just because nothing is too big. God is great because nothing is too small. He rejoices to see the plumb line in Zerubbabel's hand. Now, plumb line was an ancient architectural device. They haven't even started building. They haven't even broken ground. And God is already rejoicing. You don't have to do big things for God. All you have to do is be faithful with the little things and God will take care of the big things. Don't despise the day of two-inch dominoes.